after deer season, we never saw him again. Common for the hunters to take him out. That's probably a blessing in disguise. Sooner or later, the coyotes were going to get these guys. Honestly, I hope the hunters did get him. I appreciate them doing that. That's just like us putting animals to sleep when their life becomes more pain than pleasure. I agree. It's best that the three-legged deer died by gun rather than savaged by coyotes. I understand your reasoning, but hunters still have no place in taking animal life. I'll assume both you and Granny Lala are meat eaters. Only meat eaters who love pets, but not animals, continue to eat them and continue to support guns blowing innocent animals away. Did either of you ask the deer if he wanted to be shot? Think about it. Well, I'm actually working to become a conservation zoologist, so I love all animals. I don't in any way agree with hunting, I'm just stating the fact given the option myself, seeing as both are extremely likely, I'd much rather be shot than ripped apart by coyotes. <laughs> okay, answer me this one question. Do you eat animal flesh? Yeah, but I don't see how that has any bearing on how much I love animals. I don't eat hunted meat. If you're saying meat eaters can't love animals, that's a wholly ignorant thing to assume. I would be a vegetarian if it wasn't so impractical for me to do so. And me stopping eating meat isn't going to change the meat trade. And I know there's the argument that if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, but the fact is that there are billions of people in the world and we're built as humans to be omnivores. To ask everyone to stop eating meat is entirely unrealistic, but don't get me wrong. I have every respect for vegetarians like yourself, because I realize it's not easy. And I'm not trying to be argumentative here, I just want you to understand where I'm coming from, because trust me, I understand where you are. You are seriously messed up. You think you love all animals, yet you are still eating them? How is that love? If you love animals, your first rule is, do no harm. Yet you support the torture, murder, death of Billions of cows, chickens, rabbits, sheep, pigs, deer, every year? If anyone on this earth is a greedy, self-serving hypocrite, it is indeed you. Wow, okay, I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. You refuse to see my side of the argument. I'm not going to resort to petty name-calling either. Just know you're part of a minority in this world, and I'm shocked you can make any friends with an outlook on people like that. This conversation is over. I pray for you because you're a very deluded and judgmental individual. Judgmental individual? I am a vegan of seven years. I would never drink cow pus dairy, so do not confuse me. If you love all animals, you would not eat them, you selfish hypocrite. You are not more important than compassion. You know what? Forget what I said earlier. You're an idiot. Oh, okay. So now, in your mind, I'm below you as a vegan? It is me who will sit to the right hand of GOD while you burn in the flames of greed and ego. I tried saving you. I failed. Who do you think God wants sitting next to him? A bunch of animal-killing meat-eaters who did nothing to stop animal suffering? Or a peaceful animal rights activist group who loved his animals enough to risk our lives for them. God will chose me every single time. <laughs> this has to be a joke, right? You can't really be this extreme. I was getting annoyed by how ignorant and judgmental you were at first, but now I'm just getting a laugh out of it. You're an animal killer carnist, full of greed and ego. You will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. No, Vegemeister, but I shall rule the depths of hell with an ironclad fist. Every day we shall eat McDonald's and drink beer together round a barbecue. No living being will be spared my wrath and carnage. They will all die by my greedy self-serving hands. And when there are none left alive, I'll come and eat all of heaven too. You and God are next on my menu. I have a college degree, and I work in a very good job. Therefore, not stupid. I am 100% sure you will burn, and so will your children whom you have influenced. Sad, but I can't help you any further. Go vegan or burn. Only choices. What does it say, vegan or you'll burn, in the Bible? Every single time, I am able to weed out the demons, as proven by your last statement. I hope Dr. Lee blocks your evil, scary ass. 
And so Jesus proclaimed to his disciples, Go vegan or burn! Leave me alone, demon! I reported you already! <laughs>